Well, Gary, it's uh, the visit of your former club, Derby County. Um, I suppose you're going to tell me it's just another game, are you? Well, it is. You know, the reality is we're here fighting for um, fighting for points for Stoke City. I think your, your former clubs, um, you know, when you come up against them, it's largely irrelevant because you want to win the game regardless of who you're playing. Um, and I think for us at the moment, of course, we want to get that home win. We want to get the three points. We want to be higher up in the table. So it's an important game for us. Um, and I don't think the the uh, the noise around the game and who it is necessarily um, you know should allow us to distract from how important the game is for us. A lot's going to be made of the fact that it's Gary Rowett going head to head with Frank Lampard. But how important is it that your battle doesn't almost make the game a bit of a sideshow? Yeah, no, I think you know Frank's mentioned it in his press, and I'd say exactly the same. It's not about us as managers. Of course, we're leading our teams and hoping to both be successful doing the same job so you know whilst I wish him every success the reality is we're trying to um, do what's right for our club and for our team and it's about the players it's about um, the players performing on the evening we know we're up against a, um, a very good side in Derby County of course not least because I know quite a lot of the players but also because they brought some very talented players into the group as well and, and you know they're playing with a, with a really good energy and they've had some good results so we have to be mindful of that uh, but once again, we're at home and we have to try to stamp our authority on the game. You know, we've had a lot of the games where I felt as though we're, we're very close to doing enough to win those games and little things are going against us or we're not working quite hard enough at times to get the win. Um, but you saw that the other day on Saturday, you know, we get ourselves into a great position, show great character to do that um, and then just don't get the break in the end, you know. So, so that's the frustration for us at the minute. But Derby County are the next team that we've got to play uh, and it's going to be an important game for us. It's fine margins. What can you do to tip the balance in your favour more? Yeah, I mean, there's certain things we can do, I mean, which I probably won't go into the, the exact specifics of it, but um, I don't think we've, I, I think there's been some times where we've not had the breaks, you know, like I spoke before, Birmingham, we had a penalty not given, you know, a report two weeks later says, oh, it should have been a penalty, we made a mistake, you know, you look at the weekend's game, we have a, comes off the inside of a post when it could go in the goal, it comes back to the keeper, we have a goal disallowed for offside where Tom Ince's goal was was um, was onside you know so so I think those things we can't really control what we can control is um, you know we have to make better decisions in games at the right time so we're 2-1 up in the game on Saturday and we make a mistake defensively where you know that's where we have to have our concentration about us to win the game and and it's little moments of that we can do something about the rest of it we have to hope evens itself out over over a period you know but um, I think it's just the players maybe just going into the games and not feeling edgy, you know, because we haven't won as many games as we'd like. Not just this season, but over a long period at home, we have to remember. Maybe that lingers around for a period. Um, but I think the team, the fans are like, you know, we have to start the game um, with that real positivity to try to drive us forward to get a good result. How do you look back on your time as, as Derby manager? Yeah, listen, I had an enjoyable year. Um, it's a club that I obviously played for and had a little bit of success when I was there. Uh, it's a club I coached, coached the under-14s, coached the under-18s, um, went back as a manager. Um, I don't think we have anything to be um, afraid of looking back at that time. You know, we got a team that um, into the playoffs. We won the first leg of the playoffs. Um, you could argue that previously before that, the team that ended up in the final against QPR were probably the only team that had more success than us in the last five or six years. So uh, we couldn't get over the line, which of course has been... You know, Derby's challenge over the previous few seasons um, and that's what it was you know and, and now I'm Stoke manager and, and put in blood and guts and every single ounce of time I've got to try to try to turn our fortunes around. And what have you made of the job that Frank Lampard's done so far in, in his first managerial appointment? He's done a brilliant job you know I think that people always expect you to have some form of bitterness against people that have gone into clubs that you've been at but I think Frank's a really good guy he comes across really well I've spoke to him um, once or twice I think he's done a tremendous job you know himself Jody Morris the staff that he's brought in um, you know to change a little bit of the the, the, the way the team's playing um, to go with a slightly younger team um, to you know to, be, to, to get your first role in a difficult division which we know the championship is 
Um, I think you'd have to say so far that you know they've been really impressive. I watched the games against Chelsea and Man United, and I enjoyed them just like everyone else w w did, and I admired their performance. So, um, but of course, Derby will also know. I think at this stage last season, we, uh, I think we had one more point actually than they've currently got, and they know that um, you know and Frank will be aware that it's a long season and it's about sustaining it, and and sustaining the form is a challenge for for any team that wants to try and get promoted. Finally, let's talk about us. How's your squad shaping up? Are you tempted to make changes? Uh, I think it's always a temptation when you, you play a midweek game um, and there's going to be certain areas of the side that you look at and say, do we need a little bit more energy in there um, for a midweek game? I think the fact it's a Wednesday night gives you less of an issue in that sense because you've got one more day recovering. Sometimes it's a Saturday game that causes you a problem. Um, but we'll certainly, like we will do, we'll always try to utilise the squad where we think it can strengthen the team tactically and physically for for uh, for the next game you know so we we'll look at it. we've got every i think every player is available uh, so we we don't have any injuries from the game previously i think Sam Clucas Cincy all got through it quite well um, so it's just about us trying to make the right decision put the right team out there i thought there were some parts of Saturday that were really encouraging um, and other parts of course where we want to try and improve